can have peace in the midst of a storm. You can have peace right where you're at. It doesn't mean that the circumstances are instantly going to change. It doesn't mean that. And it doesn't mean that that valley, that valley of darkness is going to get shorter. It doesn't mean that. It just means that, yea, though I'm walking through this valley, I don't fear any evil because he's with me. There's just something about knowing this. There's something about understanding this. And then the joy in the Holy Ghost. It's right there in black and white. Joy in the Holy Ghost. It comes from the Holy Spirit. It doesn't come from ideal circumstances. It doesn't come when you get a good report. Joy comes in spite of the report. Joy comes in spite of the circumstances. It's there. It's there for you. to. It's, it's a spiritual force. Joy is a spiritual force. We got too many people who are just running around panicking and freaking out. And, and you know the ones who are spending too much time watching news, the news. Because they all say the same thing. You just want to say, dude, shut the TV off. Stop listening to that stuff. I mean, you listen to that stuff 24-7, you know you're in basket case. You ain't got no peace. You ain't got no joy. You're frustrated and aggravated. You're scared and everything else wrapped in it. Do you know what's going on now? I don't care what's going on. I know what, listen, all I could say to them is cheer up. It gets worse from here. Well, I don't want to hear that. Well, it's too bad. God decided that we should be here at the end. Isn't that cool? He must know there's something about you, something in you that's vital for the times that we're living in.